Hi, I'm Ron Clark. I'm continuing uh, with the videos on my books. So, the next one is the Eight Temples Meditation Project. This is an outgrowth of uh, group working that I did. Um, oh gosh, back in the early 90s, I was on various discussion groups on, uh, on the internet. At that time, it was AOL discussion groups um, uh, about hermetics. Uh, it wasn't at this point about uh, Franz Barden. Um, it was just the general topic of hermetics. And several members of that discussion group, and I, uh, went outside of the discussion group and held a little experimental project of our own, having to do with astromental meetings. In other words, a group of people from, um, this was just around the United States at the time, would meet astromentally, you know, using our creative imagination um, and our more subtle perceptions, we would meet together in a specific place that we had designed, we had imagined and designed and chosen as a place to meet. And we would have various experiences in that place. And then after the meetings, we would write to each other, email each other, and describe our experiences. And through this process, we tried to genuinely come together in this setting and have genuine experiences that were mutual. You know, not pre-planned. They were just experience, you know, we'd come to this place and have an experience together. And we got to um, reaching a very high degree of mutuality in our experiences. And then, because it was an interest of mine, um, well, several people in that group expressed to me the desire to learn about Kabbalah, about the Tree of Life. And um, I had been studying and uh, experiencing for quite some time at that point already. I was involved at that time with the Western Hermetic uh, Tree of Life, which is the Golden Dawn Tree. That had been pretty much the extent of my experience. But I was at that point developing an interest in the, uh, the uh, Hebrew Tree of Life and the Gra Tree. But that more comes later. This work was all about the Golden Dawn, Western Hermetic Tree of Life. And what I dealt with specifically, well, okay, uh, the, the specific um, exploration of this experiment, this astromental experiment, uh, you know, using basically the same techniques of, techniques of coming together in a pre-designed astromental place. Um, and exploring, having an experience that was mutual. So, what I designed was the Eight Temples Meditation product, Project, a series of eight meditations designed to introduce the person and to give the person an experience of each of the planetary sephirot, uh, because in the, in the Western Hermetic tradition, the Sephirot are assigned to the planets. So, Malkuth is Earth, Yesod is the Moon, Ahod uh, is Mercury, Nefsak is Venus, uh, Tiferet is the Sun, Gedula, or Gebura is Mars, Gedula, Jupiter, and Bina, Saturn. There is no planetary correspondence with uh, Chokma and Kether in that system. So, a series of eight uh, meditations from the Earth through Saturn. Um, and how I designed it was on each new moon, I would send a packet in the mail, you know, in the mail, the physical mail, not email, 
but the physical mail. Um, to each of the participants, I, I don't remember how many people, I might have been seven, eight, something like that, participants, uh, fewer than a dozen, let's put it that way. Um, they would each get a packet of information uh, discussing the um, ritual we were going to go, the, the Sephiroth or planetary Sephiroth that we were going to explore, some images uh, that were going to be key to um, the astromental experience to guide them visually to uh, a specific temple from which our experience would begin. And uh, that was pretty much it. So it'd be a, a thick packet of these images that I had carefully designed on my black and white printer. Some of them were like almost three dimensional because of the effects I was able to achieve with layering. It's, it's, it was really pretty cool. I think there's one person who still has all of the papers from the Eight Temples uh, meditation. So it'll be worth a fortune in the future. <laughs> um, um, so that, that went on from, um, for me, from December of 1997, preparing the packets and sending out those first packets. And then uh, January of 1998 was when the actual uh, rituals occur. Now, each ritual... Uh, for me, was a lot of preparation. I had a temple room at the time um, that was a, a very powerful temple room I had set up. So all of the rituals took place in this temple room. And all of the graphics that I had sent people were in my temple room. And what I did is I astromentally created the temples there in my temple room, the temples that we were mutually going to, um, were actually created in my temple room. So they were astromental places that I created using the techniques from initiation into hermetics. Um, and I conducted the root ritual that I had described in the temple at that moment, astromentally. And the other people joined, uh, you know, projected their awareness to that moment in time-space, the astromental moment in time-space that I was creating. So they had specific experiences that are described in the book. Um, these were actual rituals. And I was able to encapsulate those moments in time-space, astromental time-space, so that they became permanent things that anybody could visit. Anytime they followed the uh, specific sequence and visualizations of the Eight Temples Meditation Project, they could meet with that same experience, same original experience, because that moment in astromental time-space is encapsulated. Um, it's really sort of hard to describe, but it exists in astromental space as a separate thing. Um, so anybody can go to those moments and have th the experience of the Eight Temples project. And it opens uh, the participant to uh, returning and having further experiences that have nothing to do with the Eight Temples project, but are independent experiences. So, that project, I, well, I published basically on my website. Um, Oh, actually, no, the, the book came first, then the website came next. Um, but this book contains the whole project, including um, all the graphics in the back. Uh, all the graphics from the project. 
that, you know, serve to make connection with that astrumental moment. Um, this is the first edition in 2002, also by Joshua Hutchinson, um, and it was very expensive to print. It found out that any color printing at that time was expensive, very expensive. Um, so this costs base. This costs more than uh, Barden Companion did the original version. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and the this was actually in Watson's uh, books in London. I saw it on the shelf there uh, for sale. It was again one of those weird sort of moments, like wow, you know. I've made it to the big time. <laughs> um, uh, it was a real nice boost to the ego. But it's a nice little book, and it serves to connect someone with the original workings of the Eight Temples. People have, you know, been doing this now for 20 years. This first appeared in 2002. Um, and... I've met a lot of them. Actually, I met all of them. The initial working, and there have been subsequent workings of the Eight Temples with um, other groups that I've been involved with, um, but that initial um, experience for me, you know, I, I felt the presence of hundreds, if not thousands of people um, at the time. So... Who knows, by now, you know, it could be hundreds. Well, it is definitely hundreds of people, uh, but it could be thousands for all I know. Especially since I published this in 2012, 10 years ago now. I published uh, the 10th anniversary edition of the book myself through Amazon and was able to embed the color plates in the book itself instead of having separate color plates. Um, and it's a much better uh, edition than the original. And it's easily accessible now. You know, Amazon just m makes such a difference in the world of self-publishing. Um, so, this book costs $26.50, the paperback edition, and the hardcover edition will cost $28.50, um, yeah, uh, I'm proud of this book, too, um, because, you know, it's, it's part of that, uh, you know, the first books that I'd ever been published for me, and it was a publisher, you know, it wasn't me doing it myself through Amazon, um, but again, this has been very successful on Amazon, um, it's one of my um, one of my best sellers, you know, next to a Barden Companion. So that's the Eight Temples. Next will be Center of Stillness, Healing, Magic, and Self Knowledge. So that'll be the next one. All right. Bye bye.